Alright, Southfield Reservoir, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it, a lot of you will have fished it. I've fished it quite a bit over the last two years, uh, mainly springtime because that's when the open matches are. Um, we fish it all year round if there were more matches here, but they tend to be more club matches and things, but the opens is springtime. Um, Wayne's fished it a hell of a lot more than I have, he's fished it for a number of years. Um, we know this is this is one of the first qualifiers, isn't it, in the Feeder Masters? Yeah, I think it's the first one of the natural, yeah. yeah. Um, what, what do you think it's going to be like? Any ideas? It could be brilliant. It all, it all depends, I think, it all depends on the winter we get. I think personally. If we get a cold winter, it could be it could be a little bit iffy. Uh, if we get a warm winter, we could fish well, yeah. as we know. Last year, know. Was, last year it was a cold yeah. spring and it was really diff yeah. really hard, wasn't it? Yeah, the first, uh, the first three matches of the Winter League, they were not the Winter League, the, sorry, the Spring League, uh, they were lots and lots of planks, I remember. Uh, hell of a lot of planks. Uh, and then all of a sudden the weather broke, the weather warmed up and 60 pound were winning. Yeah. Actually, we're, we're, good, we're good backups, very good backup planks, and they were, the banks were everywhere. Really, if you remember. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very hard, character building. <laughs> oh, very. But, yeah, but that's winter, I mean, it was still winter. Um, for those who have not been here before, we're actually still on a bridge here. This is the bridge that um, is where the reservoir goes into the canal and vice versa. It's, it's, a, it's like an overfill, is it a, uh, an overspill reservoir? Yeah, this is a compensation reservoir for the canal for the for the big gravel barges. Yeah. To, to pull it into the canal to fill it up so the gravel barges can get up. Depths wise? What is it like way? Same depth everywhere, would you say? Pretty much, yeah. You've got maybe four foot, maybe four foot, probably I've got four foot, and then it gets, because of the natural, the natural, the, the wind that always comes naturally from the, from the west, the tow, the tow seems to take the, the, the debris up to the top of the lake, and as you get up to the top of the lake, it does get shallower. So you're saying it's shallower, and a lot more, a lot more, uh, so the wind usually pushes into this bank, yeah. is that what you're saying? Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. You've got the, the, prevailing, the, prevailing, the prevailing wind usually comes this way. Yeah. No, it'll be good. I mean, depth rate variations, there's not a lot everywhere. No. So no. It's, it's quite a fair venue in that no. respect. Um, but they can show up anyway, it's bream fishing. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. When it gets nearer the time, we'll probably do another clip just to basically, you know, let guys know what you know what it's fishing like, what the sport's like. Um, it's tough at the minute, but it's still winter, as you can probably tell how we're wrapped up. But <laughs> it's uh, it'll be a test, but hopefully a fair test. We're just uh, still on what they refer to as the split. As you look at it now, on our right hand side is the uh, is the West Lake. That's looking over here the way that you're looking now. That's looking over towards Peg One. Um, that's where the gap is, where you can just see the stones are there, the the stumps that go into the canal at the, at the other side. Um, so that's Peg One coming back now, looking back this way now as we get to see Wayne. Now it's coming up to back up. So is that Peg Ten Wayne in front of you now? Peg Ten's there. All right, and that usually stops there, doesn't it? They don't peg it on this split anymore, do they? No, no. Just to uh, yeah. All right, and what about the rest of Pegs then? Just looking around now. We're going around to the east East Lake now. So where did Peg start there and when? We've got 15, 15 in corner here, uh, which works around to 20 Peg, which is the, as you can see, that little bridge. Yeah, you see yeah that? that's bridge that goes into the canal. And you've got 21 on the other side, and there's a few more pegs into the corner. I think it's 28 that starts in that corner, uh, and then all the way down, all the way down that straight bank, down to 100 Peg. Right, yeah, that's what they refer to as long bank, don't that's they? That's long bank, yeah. What I've, you got? I've got a feeling that will be, that will be the match length, I think. What, going from, from, from this corner here? 28 down, all, right. in, all in one line. All in one straight. Yep. And all those pegs over there, there's a few lads that haven't been here before, all those pegs have actually got platforms right down to about peg. Size 60s, is it? Yeah, yeah, high 60s, maybe 70s. Yeah. yeah, so if you just peg it on there, every peg on there, you are on boulders over there, we'll go over there in a minute, but all those pegs over there um, have got platforms, so it's really comfortable. And what you can't see, which we'll show you when we get over there, is just below that banking, lower down is the actual road, so you can park behind each peg over there, which is brilliant. Um, and the car park's down in that bottom corner down there. But we're just going to walk over there now, so you, you can see what it's like over there. Right, that's the main car park there, lads, where you come in, you come down this lane here. If you do ever come down practicing and you just want to get a feel for the venue, this notice board just here, they do a brilliant job, Tony Toff and, and his, the Doncaster lads, they do a great job of letting you know where the matches actually are, so that'll tell you that any free pegs, if you want to come and pleasure fish, um, it's always up to date, it's brilliant that. Um, that's the canal just at the back there. Um, just panning round, you can see that's the bridge where we've just been stood. This corner's usually left out for obvious reasons, especially in a feeder match, um, but you can obviously see an expanse of water you've got in front of you now. 
we're actually stood on the long bank which is where the majority of the pegs will be you can see that goes up there a long way and you can see the access road which is fantastic you can park behind every peg there and uh, i'm sure you'll you'll a lot of you lads will really appreciate that especially with the amount of kit we carry these days um what sort of ranges are the lads fishing on these pegs Wayne? what sort of kit are they likely to need as a, as a general guideline uh, normally 30 to 70 meters two lines maybe uh, two 12 foot rods uh, two 13 foot rods will be more than enough uh, and I don't forget the company the, the national the, uh, association rules state you can't, you can't use air rigs you can't use pellets uh, you can use ground bait you can use uh, pellet ground bait uh, pellet based ground bait that's no problem but you can't put you can't put pellets on the hook uh, so it's nice and simple bait, natural nice, baits natural baits yeah brilliant Na nice natural no natural baits worms worms maggots and casters that's all you need nice and simple that's great and hopefully the fish will be spread out through here obviously there are areas where there might be more fish but there's never one um area where the fish always are they can show up anywhere in any match so and that's what we want we want you know you don't want to be going to your peg knowing what's going to happen so um like i say if you get in touch with doncaster daa uh, they've got a website it tells you the, the pegs that are available if you want to come down and practice in, just check on there it'll tell you which pegs are available uh, day tickets on the bank brilliant um so we'll have a quick chat near the time when we know how it's fishing it's obviously still cold now but uh, Thanks for watching lads, we'll speak to you shortly.